Good morning, brothers and sisters. Your adversary, the devil, prowls about like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. But resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same experiences of suffering are being accomplished by your brethren who are in the world. 1 Peter 5, 8-9 All of Satan's involvement in our sufferings and trials is under God's control which means our success against him is also in God's sovereign hands. During the past 25 years, there has been a tremendous upsurge of interest in the occult, Satan worship, and evil supernatural influences. Such unwise fascination has had an impact on the church and led to an overemphasis on spiritual warfare in some circles. But such unbiblical emphasis gives an unbalanced perspective on the role Satan plays in our trials and persecutions. On the other hand, 1 Peter 5 places Satan's activities in the proper context. Peter urges us to watch our surroundings and be alert to possible temptations. But as we do, we can be encouraged that Jesus Christ has already defeated Satan and therefore the evil one can have no long-term victories in our lives. Peter goes on to admonish us that we need to resist Satan, which simply means we must stand up against him with our spiritual feet solidly planted on the objective truth of the Word of God. The devil is a liar and a deceiver, and the surest way to deflect his onslaughts is with the infallible revealed truth of Scripture. In the biblical accounts of Satan's participation in the trials, persecutions, or sufferings of God's servants, God is always the one in control. Therefore, our responsibility as we prepare for possible satanic attacks is to recall that our own grand strategies of spiritual warfare, however relentless and innovative they might be, will not provide the vigilance Peter speaks about. Paul gives us a further example of the right kind of preparation when he describes the essence of spiritual warfare as, quote, taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ, 2 Corinthians 10, verse 5. If we heed the implications of those words, there's really nothing else we need to have or do in combating the devil. God bless.